Hello, Blender enthusiasts. Today I thought we'd talk about how to control what your thumbnails for your asset browser uh, look like. So I am going to load this toy train that I made. And as you can see, not only is my toy train textured, uh, it also have an HDRI. I am currently uh, using Cycles as my rendering engine. So uh, to make uh, an asset out of this, I need to right click on the object train and mark it as asset. So you see what happens is uh, my uh, geometry uh, looks uh, grayscale as if the snapshot was taken from this view. And I think that it was. So basically in order to have our train show colors in this mode, we need to change some settings. Um, so let's go ahead and click on this drop down menu and let's change uh, viewport shading to, uh, well, texture or material, either one should work here. Yeah, let's leave it on the material. So, and now let's examine the train material. So you can see that we have blue, red, yellow, and green. Um, but uh, something that not a lot of people are aware is that those materials have um, another slot for displaying geometry in a viewport. And currently this color set to white for all of the materials. So basically what we have to do is we have to copy the base color to uh, the viewport display color. So the way to do it is you just hold your cursor over the, the color and you press control C, uh, copy the color information and you go control V and you can see that part of my train became green. All right, so let's just continue with that. Same thing for yellow. We're gonna do the same thing for red. And we're gonna do the same thing for blue. All right, so with that done, I'm going to remove or clear this asset and I'm gonna make the asset again. So right click, and I'm gonna mark as asset. And you can see that now my train is fully colored, uh, but it is turned a little weird. So what I can do without going into trouble and rendering this through camera and so on and so forth, I can just uh, reorient the train a little bit. So what I'll do, I'll press R, I press Z, um, minus 45, I press enter, I'm gonna press N uh, so that we can see the rotation and then I'm gonna reset the rotation, control A, and we'll actually apply the current rotation, boom. And let's repeat the steps, clear asset, Mark his asset. All right, so now the train is turned a lot better. So what we can do, we can go back to 45 again, control A, apply. And uh, so the only thing now is really left is to save this in our asset folder. So let's go ahead and do that. So file, save as, and uh, yeah, let's go to asset library and save it as a demo. And save. So what that allows us to do, that allows us to um, go to our current library or to our current asset library and we now can place this guy, there we go, with uh, the rest of objects. And uh, just make sure that this file is saved. So control S. And if now we go and start a new file, load the library, go to toys. you can see that here 
here we have our objects and those objects are ready to go. All right, awesome. I hope that was helpful. Uh, like and subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Bye.